Welcome everyone to MST Global's Tech Talk series. I'm Elizabeth Fabry, your host. Uh, today we're speaking with Senior Product Specialist uh, Dirk Eisner, who has been with um, MST Global for the last 12 years and has developed some innovative, innovative um, network solutions and devices for underground mines. Uh, Dirk also has 40 years experience in the industry and is re has recently been working uh, with the Global Mining Guidelines Group uh, to craft their IT infrastructure and tracking standards, which are going to set the benchmark for mine sites globally. So thanks so much for joining us today, Dirk. Thanks for having me. Great. Um, so today we'll be discussing some exciting innovations and changes in MST's um, network infrastructure product family known as the Axon Suite. Um, so we're officially bringing an award-winning product under the um, MST product under the Axon banner. And there's an important new uh, functionality for us to discuss um, and how this all works and why underground mines um, should consider updating their technology stack um, with these new models. Um, so we'll start with uh, Axon Mesh. Uh, Dirk, I understand this product used to be called uh, the R, um, sorry, WRN. Uh, why the name change now? And can you take us through this latest model? So the the word or the, the acronym WRN uh, stands for wireless repeater node. Yeah. And it doesn't really reflect properly what the device actually did or it made it a little bit difficult to understand for people what it, what it was capable of. Uh, the main functionality is to extend um, your normal network, your normal wireless network further towards um, your face normally in, in host, into hostile areas. Uh, without the need for any cabling or any additional thing. So it's basically a wireless repeater node. However, we have um, an Axon family of products, and these Axon family is relatively new. Uh, it's about a year, year and a half old. And us, the Axon mesh, or the WRN, formerly called WRN, is an integrate part of the solution. Uh, we decided to change the name and as we changed the name, we also uh, realized it would be good to call it a more appropriate name, i.e. mesh, because it, it, it can mesh, it can have multiple of each uh, to extend, extend the network. And there's also the mesh plus model. Can you describe this piece of technology and what sets it apart um, from the previous um, wireless repeater node? Yeah, so we added uh, Bluetooth functionality to the devices, and um, this is throughout the Axon range. We, we added Bluetooth to the devices. Um, main reason for it is that Bluetooth is a, a cost-effective uh, solution, and it was needed. Yeah. And I understand that MST are bringing this BLE technology across the Axon Air models um, with Axon Air Plus. What motivated this need here? Yeah, this... The, BLE tracking um, is more cost effective. Um, prior to it, we were using Wi-Fi tracking only. Now we're using Wi-Fi and BLE because for a lot of um, mines, uh, particularly if you're starting to track assets and things like that, it becomes expensive to tag everything with, with Wi-Fi tags. So using Bluetooth tags um, can be very effective um, and, and very cost effective uh, to, to do so. Yeah. And with the Axon Air, Axon Mesh, and the Air Plus and Mesh um, Plus capabilities, what applications are these models best suited to? And should mines be um, investing or considering one of these or both? Well, it, it depends very much on uh, which route down you, you go. They, they complement each other. So it's not that, that one is exclusive of the other. Um, we have... Um, a product called FARA, which is a productivity enhancing product, which really relies, it's a, what we refer to as reverse tracking, which really relies on uh, Bluetooth technology. And by bringing Bluetooth as a comprehensive underlying technology into that stack, into that Axon stack, it now becomes uh, far more flexible and fluent. So you can use and exchange these devices uh, whichever way you want without losing uh, additional technology. So prior to it, you may have spe specialized BLE readers. Now you can, you can say we have one device that does it all. It's like a, 
it's a bit like a Swiss army knife of, of a wireless communication. Yeah. So if a company was coming to you, um, you know, sort of investing, wanting to invest in this space, what would you sort of say to them? Like what sort of models would you sort of be um, applications and things are these best suited to? So I, I guess one big focus is, is obviously and always has been uh, the safety aspect um, in, in MST. So we always focus strongly on, on safety and BLE technology can help you, you know, on, on both these, um, these fronts. Yeah. Um, however, an, another really important part for us is enhancement of production and meaning, you know, more efficient productivity in, in mines. And BLE uh, can be a really, really good add-on uh, to this because you can uh, deploy these devices in areas now which are uh, otherwise it would be very difficult to deploy devices, say on in, in face areas uh, where you constantly have blasting scenarios. You, you can't bring your devices or you can't bring your equipment forwards into these areas where really that is, face it, it's the beating heart of the mine, uh, the production areas. And you really want this. These are the locations where you want to track this, um, uh, your equipment and your people. And prior to it, you, you couldn't get easily in there because you would have to run it in, then you have to pull it back out when you blast. And it was just too hard. People wouldn't do it. But having like literally like a, a you know boom boom books like radio, you can grab and you can walk forwards. You drop one down. You drop another one down if you if you need to extend it further and make it super flexible also the ability to exchange the batteries um underground um in in hard rock in um in coal we normally don't do it but uh, that's also something to mention all of these devices um or the axon um mesh uh, is 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 so it's, it's also suitable for coal mines yeah and you touched on before the cost, you know, it's a cost effective solution. What are some of the other benefits that these technologies unlock for underground mines? Um, really long, long battery lifetime is another, another part. So if you run um, tags, BLE tags uh, on batteries, you can, they last for a very, very long time and with a very high frequency of, um, uh, of chirping or of announcing themselves. Also, there's another benefit that you can very cheaply um, have the functionality that you can force the tag uh, to, to chirp only when you want to. Um, this is possible with Wi-Fi, but it's a lot more complex. Uh, you need exciters to do, do that, and it becomes a, a very complex um, scenario whereby with Bluetooth, it's really it's, it's easy to do so because you can basically ask a Bluetooth device to um, send a message out which forces a, a Bluetooth tag to respond, to yeah. respond. And what are some of the other products or technologies that are needed on site in order for the Axon Mesh and Axon Air and Plus models to operate? Um, in principle, like by sorts of obviously uh, the tags, you need the tags to, to, um, to, to have the tracking functionality. Um, but we normally supply uh, with our systems power supplies and UPSs, uninterrupted power supplies. Main reason uh, for that, obviously, is that IT solutions, any IT solution, particularly if they're safety-based um, things, really need what we call five nines uptime. So you need to have an uptime which is basically all the time. They have to be available all the time, even so if your main power systems fail. And so normally we uh, supply a power system with our um, Axon range. Um, this is also a, a main feature really of, of uh, these solutions which distinguish us completely from uh, other uh, technology provider out there. We're feeding a power cable and a fiber cable along the roadway over long distances and we can chain these devices. Power is not easily available underground and um, there are no sockets or anything like it around so it becomes difficult to get on hold of power but carrying that through the same communication cable um, the optic fiber uh, communication cable it's a very very convenient way of of doing it and that's really what MST is all about yeah we fit for purpose our gear fits into mines and and it, it's not just something what we converted from an, what hangs normally on an office wall. And that's the big, the big difference. It's rapidly deployable, very flexible, and, and it just works. Yeah. 
And was there anything else uh, you'd like to do, uh, mention about these um, products and I get, or even more broadly, you know, where um, the industry is headed um, with regard to the network connectivity space? Yes, I think it's a sort of two-folded question. I think um, we will see over the next 10 years more and more inroads into all sorts of uh, digital conversion in, in mining. So what we will find is that not just, so people always focus very much on oh, the automated robotic side of things of mining. And yes, absolutely, that's a very important part. But reality is that we are so dependent on, on information today um, on the surface and that, that ideology is actually carried into the underground. So mm -hmm. today we, we deliver uh, mobile phones, uh, which are easily, um, you know, can connect to our, our Wi-Fi network, and you have the same functionality you would have on a on a 5G network. In in fact, it's actually faster, believe it or not, than a than a 5G network. And so, is you can get whatever you got on your your desk, or you can get information to people. You can use our telephones. We have we have specialized mines mine phones, as well as you can just use any other uh, Wi-Fi device out there. Is so we're not a closed shop, completely open. Um, walls down approach so people can can access and and access their data and send data transmit information production information whatever that is and i think in the in the near future you will see that mine side is very heavily invested in uh, productivity increasement yeah and in that's the, uh, sorry. sorry sorry i cut you off go on there that that's really like our our next big uh, big milestone for us to really uh, even so we we always been very heavy uh, involved in in productivity improvements but we now gone very hard into into the sector of really very granularly um, increasing productivity making things measurable within productivity uh, visible so you can we have very nice interfaces now uh, which allow you to in real time see where your devices are, what they do, you know, how many loads that they're carried, and, and you really get a much better understanding of that business. That's so interesting. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Dirk. Um, I'm sure our viewers are going to have a really good understanding of how this all works and um, why, you know, network connectivity is so important in the underground mining space. So thanks so much for your time. You're welcome.